Hey, what's going on guys? It's Boost Tech here, and as you can see, I'm playing some zombies on Kino... Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> on fire. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, it's been a long day. Anyway, yeah, I'm playing some zombies on uh, the map 5. Not Kino, the Totem 5. And uh, yeah, so I thought I would just talk about um, Sony Movie Studio 12. Uh, that, you, uh, that I did an unboxing of it uh, a few weeks back. And um, it's a very good piece of software. And that's mainly one of the reasons why I bought it. I mean, I did uh, look at a lot of YouTube videos um, uh, before I went out and purchased it. And I did purchase it off, off uh, Amazon and it was £25. And it was really worth every penny um, that I've really invested in this piece of software. And what it was, it's basically a, a watered down version of Sony Vegas uh, Pro Studio 12. And uh, if you've been a subscriber to my channel for quite some time now you would have noticed that I used to use uh, Magic's Movie Edit Pro and don't get me wrong that was a, a very good piece of uh, editing software however the main problem with using uh, Magic's was that um, when you wanted to do some uh, just some general editing I mean just like basic editing uh, it really did suck the power out of your um, CPU and to some extent your GPU and for some reason, for such a, pe a, a cheap piece of software, I don't mean cheap as in bad quality, I just mean cheap as in price, for some reason it really did drain the energy out of your PC, I mean, and that was just for basic uh, rendering and just simple editing. Um, even on the lowest preview setting, I think I put it on like the lowest, <laughs> just to try to at least get some um, editing uh, power out of it, it still, still struggled and it still um, really did, it, I mean, when I was using it, it took the CPU and GPU power up to 100%. And there was pretty much nothing else I could do apart from uh, do the um, editing process and just simply just do that. And I couldn't, you know, browse the internet. It simply just absolutely drained the power out of the PC. And I've got a, a pretty a pretty decent PC for editing. It's um it's an AMD uh, FX uh, 644 uh, version. It's got four cores, eight gigs of RAM, and it's got a two gigabyte graphics card from ATI. So it's a it's a, it's a pretty decent build. It's not like a, a you know any uh, you know low low budget build is kind of in the middle so I would have expected it to do at least some smooth editing but for some reason magic just wouldn't have it uh, even I was definitely higher than the uh, system requirements so I wasn't quite sure why it was lagging so much so then for a while I did end up going back to just uh, using uh, simple movie uh, not movie studio so <laughs> um, I was just going back to using Windows Movie Maker and that was uh, okay for what I was doing I tried to like bring my editing down a notch um, until I uh, looked around for some uh, other editing software that was able to um, fulfill my needs and then I came across uh, Sony Movie Studio 12 and I was going to get uh, Sony Movie Studio 11 and I looked at a lot of uh, reviews and people were recommending uh, Sony Movie Studio 12 simply because it made use of uh, the 64-bit uh, uh, systems because I have a 64-bit uh, system and I wanted to get as much uh, power as possible and, and apparently if you was to get the 64-bit uh, model or um, series uh, with Movie Studio, you're going to get a lot better performance rather than using the uh, Sony Movie Studio 11, which only came with 32 uh, bit. So I just went along with that, and the, there wasn't really that much different in the pr difference in the price. It was about five pound between us. So I thought, hey, you must well just get the um, the new one. Uh, so I looked at the uh, YouTube videos again. They seemed really good. Uh, it really, there wasn't really a big difference between uh, Movie Studio and Sony Vegas. They're pretty similar. Um, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I had a hiccup then. Um, so yeah, um, it was there, there was there, there isn't a massive difference between the two. I mean, they're pretty pretty similar. Obviously, Sony Vegas, uh, you're paying a you know 500 pounds, so of course there's going to be some really top-notch professional features with that particular software. But it's more the professional side. I, I mean, I, I'm an advanced editor, but I'm not a professional editor. So I'll, I'll go with a consumer product. Um, editing software just you know to try and find my feet and then maybe from there you know who knows in the future I might invest in a really top-notch uh, piece of editing software like obviously Sony Vegas or even After Effects uh, from Adobe so I thought hey just get a, you know get a, a decent piece of editing software uh, that I know that be able to uh, that my computer can support rather than trying to go for something huge that is actually going to drain the power out of it so I thought yeah Sony Sony, Sony <laughs> I really can't talk today. Sony Movie Studio um, seemed really good and I thought whatever I'll purchase it and it has been really good. Um, as you can see I edited um, J, uh, Jez J's um, 
episode of his private match and it turned out really well I was able to use the Twixter and that turned out okay there's a bit of mo motion blur but that's not too bad you're gonna get that uh, having at the speed that it was so it was a pretty good um, investment pretty good edit and that that episode I think turned out pretty well uh, for one of my first you know massive um, edits with a uh, top-notch edit piece of editing software so uh, for the price I would definitely recommend it it's got tons and tons of features all what you're gonna need uh, in fact I'm using it now to edit my Duke of Edinburgh product, uh, project which I obviously talked about in my previous video that I completed my Duke of Edinburgh and we have to do a group project so I'm actually using that piece of software to edit that particular project and it's doing really well uh, so it should be a uh, very impressive but would I recommend it definitely absolutely definitely I mean in the UK on Amazon it's 25 pound and there's nowhere you can actually go wrong it's a really good piece of it's a really sturdy solid and it's by Sony it's gonna be good really good piece of editing software uh, if I, I couldn't really recommend anything else um, you can go for magics but as I said it's a bit laggy at times and even for uh, it was a good piece of editing software but in my opinion I'd say that Sony Movie Studio is definitely definitely miles better than so um, not so <laughs> uh, better than Magix. So uh, if you want my opinion, I'd say definitely go for Sony Movie Studio, and it will definitely um, you know put you on your feet for and really get you into uh, the what this whole editing thing is all about. So uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this small uh, segment. And this has been Boostek here. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to like uh, my Facebook page and take a look at my website. So anyway guys, it's been Booster here, thank you for watching, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. <laughs> oh, you see I'm repeating myself again, sorry guys. <laughs> oh my days. Uh, anyway guys, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Man, I need some coffee.